Oh, yeah, so here's your evacuation plan. So the two plans you want to have are one is to shelter in place and stay at home. The second is to evacuate in case you kind of got to have to get out. Because the truth is, you know, there can be fires that tear through a neighborhood. You might need to get out and be on a moment's notice. So you want to have something that's called a go bag that's kind of some survival supplies as well as copies of important documents just in a bag so you can kind of grab it and go. Kind of everything you need to hit the road, as well as you want a rally point for family members, because say you have to evacuate and someone's in school, someone's at work, where do you all meet? You want a rally, a rally point, and you also want a communication plan. I got into ham radio, but a cool thing is, the best survivors are not the survivalists, but the people who are part of the system, because the system, you know, the system created itself, so that's it has its own survival tools, and there's some badass thing you can get if you're part of the system, because I, I joined a search and rescue team. Um, there's a badass thing you can get. It's called the WPS, the Wireless Priority Service. It basically means when all the phones are tied up. And in the last earthquake, for example, in California, nobody was hurt. It wasn't a bad one. Um, nobody was hurt, but all the lines were tied up. And if you're part of, the, if you have the Wireless Priority Service and you're a sort of rescue worker or emergency management person, you can actually put in a code and get priority over all the other calls. It's pretty cool.